Because somebody was trying to explain to me what Puerto Rico is because there's so many of them in, uh, in Tampa this weekend. And I couldn't help thinking about how many impoverished, uh, Latin islands there are. And we just, we, you know, uh, Turks and Caicos is, is the lowest per capita income of anywhere in the world. And yet it's a fucking huge tourist destination. That's and- why I, I, I went to the Dominican Republic one time and, you get on this bus, you land there, you get on this bus, and they, what they immediately do is they drive the bus as fast as they can through some of the fucking most jaw-dropping poverty you've ever so you seen see in your life. Dude, like ten fucking shacks, and then they stick you on this resort, and they got these walls that look like fucking Cedar Junction. <laughs> Walpole Back State in Walpole. Prison. Yeah, it, you're you're not on a resort. You're in a resort that's got prison walls around it, and you yeah. can feel it. Yeah. If you get too close to that wall, you're gonna get fucking yoked over, and then that's it. Then yeah. your face is gonna be on CNN. You cutting into the birthday cake. You know that classic white guy. Yeah. Missing picture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's always sunburnt. Like, anybody... the first half of the vacation had gone well. Yeah. And then they always have that little neutral area. Like, I went to Cancun, and it's like that, where it's basically a sandbar with fucking uh, Johnny Rockets and TJ Fridays and Banana Republics built up oh, on yeah. it. And then That's there's part the... part of the fortress. Well, it's part of the fortress, and then there's this little middle ground where you can go, and you can buy indigenous beads, and you can have a taco from a lady who has a burro, right. and then you get the fuck back before it gets too dark, yep. but they, they tell you how to get down there, but you don't Dude, go I, anywhere I did, I did except there. I did a dumb tourist thing when I was in the Dominican Republic. I'm like, I'm sitting there. I fly all the way to this different culture, right, thinking I'm going to see some different shit. Next thing you know, I'm sitting in a bar pool. Uh, talking to some guy from Cleveland. Yeah. And it's just like, why the fuck did I come here? So yeah. I'm going to get out of here. So they had this little thing where you could go horseback riding and go into these fucking mountain things, which ended up being great. But the thing is, the guy who took us there had to go to his house first. Okay? So we pull up to his fucking house. And, dude, I, that's the whitest I've ever felt. I'm in the middle of these goddamn tin shacks, and there's people just looking at me, and this guy is going into his house. It's taken for fucking ever, and I'm just sitting there trying to play it cool, and I just keep thinking about, you know, Arrested Abroad and all these types of fucking shows. And fortunately, we got out of there, and, uh, like, when we were... When we were on our way there, I was thinking, this is going to be great. All those fucking idiots sitting there drinking pina coladas. Then they might as well have just been in Florida. Yeah. But when he he made that pit stop, I was just like, wow, this is one of the well, dumbest it, things I've ever done. And then done. he's laughing, and in your head you're going like, either he's just so at ease with me that we're about to have a great time, or he's already laughing at my imminent death. Oh, yeah. Oh, that and you don't kid- know because... Well, what, what, what are they going to get out of me? Like, it would have been a kidnapping situation. I have no idea. But i got to tell you, we went out there. Only time I've ever ridden a horse... We fucking went into these caves and shit. Had to go underwater. It was awesome. It was no, it's, awesome. it's always worth it if you if you have the balls. If you live. <laughs> but the thing is, is you do like when I was eighteen, I uh, I get out of high school. I saved up three grand. I was a, I was a caddy during the day, and I and I cooked at TJ Fridays at night. I got three grand. I got Jesus a backpack, Christ. and I tra- I travel around Europe awesome. by myself for six months. I fucking went to you know through through Spain and through. Uh, through all over Ireland, all over Scandinavia, all over France, Greek islands, bouncing around on boats. I didn't have a fucking worry because once you're over there, you realize there's nothing to be scared of. You know, you realize you you have your gut about you. You you kind of know what's wrong and yeah, right. Now, and there's certain areas, dude. Amsterdam. Remember Amsterdam? I was out late at night, and those those fucking drug addicts who steal the bicycles. Yeah. This dude comes up, dude. He's got I don't know what he had scabs all over the side of AIDS. his. No, I don't. I don't know what it was. But he comes up, he's like, hey, you guys want to buy a bike or whatever? And we were just like, nah, man, we're good. And he just goes, <sighs> and then he just starts scratching the scabs. Uh-huh. And I was sitting there, and I was sort of boxed in, and I'm just thinking front kick. That's how you always handle a junkie. Yeah. You always yeah. got to go front kick. Yeah. Right? Just right to his fucking brittle bones. You don't want to get your hands dirty. You don't want to get anywhere near it. You don't want to get scratched. So I just sort of did like a side st- Sort of subtle sidestep, you know, like a stretch. Uh, yeah. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Yep. But, yeah, no, this. But that's the thing errors. is, like, we both. I don't know. We both grew up with enough sense to know, and then people know that you know. 
People that get Do attacked. I still get myself in situations out. L.A. is fucking weird. L.A. is two But you generally cool. can exude a certain confidence and know-how that people... Look, if I'm mugging people... Dude, you're forgetting I look like Ron Howard. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's all in how you carry yourself. I mean, if I'm looking to mug someone, I'm looking for path of, path of least resistance. And if a guy looks like he's going to make eye contact with me, I'm not fucking with that guy. Oh, dude, if, if, I was a, if I was actually a mugger and I saw... The amount of times I would actually break my nose in a mirror because I saw my face and I thought it was an easy time. <laughs> <laughs> You'd mug you. I absolutely do. Oh, my God. Uh, uh, uh. Ooh, 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 ooh.